Hi everyone, it's Gail. And I am going to work in the accordion journal today. I have a couple of ephemera pieces that I wanna make for this journal. So we'll just make those together. Let's say, oh gosh, check your time, Gail. Yep. Uh, let's say hi and hugs to Olga, Willa, Ketchup one, uh, excuse me, Ketchup 016, and Denise. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And Denise, you're more good morning every day. It's part of my day. It's just part of my day. Okay, I better write down what time we need to be done. And um, I got a couple of uh, ideas out of my idea books. So I want to make some pieces for this. I don't know exactly where they're going to go. The only thing I know is we're going to use um, Tim Holtz paper because that's kind of how this this uh, journal has shaped up. A lot of, lot of Tim Holtz in it. Um, oh, we need to make something to go under there too. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to get on to it because that is going to be my grand prize for my giveaway uh, for 55,000 viewers. So, um, gosh, that's a thank you guys. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a, just a second. This is my Christmas idea book and um, it has all the pieces that Several years ago, I did a Christmas thing with Dee Dee Farago on YouTube, and um, she's probably got a playlist for it, I would guess. But I have gone back to this pocket many times. I love this pocket. So that's what we're going to make, is this one. Okay, so the the backing of the pocket is car, uh, craft card stock so i am going to cut it at four by eight and a half so it's eight and a half already so all i have to do is cut it at four okay got that done and and then i'm gonna go ahead right now and round the corners oh i think i better decide which Side I want it on. That's, that's what I better decide. I was thinking, okay, that, that side's all done. So let's see that one. Okay. So we have, oh, I was thinking of doing something with that, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay. That's all right. So could we put it I'm looking at this going, okay, hold on, squirrel. Put that through the belly band. I could accept that. Well, first of all, that's coming off a little bit, but I kind of, I think I'd like the lady's eyes looking over the edge. <laughs> okay, um, except that it's not quite... You know, it's not quite wide enough. Well, for heaven's sakes. I obviously didn't get that down very well, did I? Okay. I think I'd like a bigger card, so... We'll use this for something else. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Okay. Because I think I would really like put this pocket right here so it can go that way okay so I want it to go this way so I'm going to round these corners here like so yeah and it'll go right there okay perfect now we at least know where we're going here okay and then we're going to Cut a piece of Timmy card stock. I brought over the wallflower. It's kind of my favorite. I mean, I love them all. Memorandum, I love them all. But I thought maybe... Let's see. Yeah. Um, 
I kind of like something more plain. Maybe this. Okay, got it. I maybe got it. Let's do... So, I want the part that goes on top to be 8.5 by 3.5. And, half, and um, let's see. I am just going to go right here. I want the planer part, so I'm turning it so it'll be 3.5 here on the plain part. It's almost kind of perfect with where the numbers are lined up. Okay, and eight and a half. Okay, so that's eight and a half by three and a half. And that's going to go on top of here. So I'm going to round these corners. Like so. Okay, yeah, need to think for a minute and then I'll get back to what I was saying a minute ago. Okay, so now our little pockets on here, we could go this way with the paper or would we like something a little more colorful? I mean, we could use that. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to use this side. Okay, so the pockets need to be three by two and a half. So um, I'm going to just, I'll just do three here. And then we'll do two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. two and a half. Okay. There's, there's our parts and pieces for the moment. Let me get my thumb punch. My little, my little, um, my little circle punch and I'm going to punch them all at once so that it's the same. Hopefully, my little punch will do it. It did. I shot them everywhere, but it did do it. Okay, and so then with these, then we need to put them here, here, and here. Everything needs to be inked. So while we're inking, <laughs> I'll tell you what I was, was doing my best to tell you, but couldn't because I was thinking. Let's see, do I round... Oh, yeah, I round the bottom corners, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, uh, coming up on 55,000, I can't even believe it. I remember when I was uh, so excited because I was shooting for 5,700, which was the, um, was the amount of people that the stadium at the college that I worked at <laughs> Would hold, and so that was kind of like, oh, I wonder if I'll get to fifty-seven hundred, which is like the whole stadium full, and now it's fifty-five thousand. It just blows me away, and I just really want to thank you all because I've been, I've been just pondering on it a little bit um, as I've been getting closer and thinking about the giveaway and everything. And I'm just like, you know, doing my videos, it motivates me, first of all, it motivates me to craft every day. But the other part of it is honestly, it gives me purpose. It gives me, I mean, yes, I have a lovely family and yes, I love spending time with them and everything, but they all live, uh, are, my children all live away. My husband, we're in a great routine where I leave my craft room by about three every day and we have the rest of the evening together. And I think 
in some ways it's better than us kind of being right on top of each other all day, you know, instead of having having our own things to do and our own space. So I, but yeah, I just thought, you know, it gives me purpose to my days and it, and crafting and doing mixed media and all of that stuff really does give me joy. And so, so I just thank you all so much for being here and being so kind and, you know, the lovely things you say to me, just, I, you know, please know that I read every single comment. <laughs> and this week I read every single comment from Carrie the Crafter's video too. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to glue this on. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, it, it's you, you guys light up my life. That's just the truth of it right there. So I, you are so appreciated. And like I said, in the high end hugs, you know, I have a certain amount of people that first thing every morning when I open that day's video, there they are saying good morning to me. You know, it's, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Okay. So we glued that on the three sides, got that done. Now we're going to put these on. Let's see, I had kind of a, oh yeah, I was going to say I had a rhythm of doing this that was working for me, which is to put on the bottom and then put on the top and then I could see where the middle one would go. I mean, I can kind of lay them there, but once they're on, that kind of worked for me is just to split the difference with that middle one. So... So, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feeling quite sentimental these days about my about my crafting buddies on YouTube. You're just all the best. Okay. Make sure these pockets are good and down. So, yeah, so for the giveaway, I'll I mean, I'll do, probably do a video on it and show you everything, but I've got some great supplies to, to share. <laughs> There's one of which I bought and I'm like, well, I already have that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, I have some good supplies for you. And then the journal will kind of be the grand prize, I think. That's that's where I'm going in my head. Let's see. Okay. That needed to go down a little bit. Okay, so pretty pretty good and lined up. So we'll squish those down. All right, so there's our base. Now what we need to do is grab out some co uh, coffee dyed paper. Let's see, I've got one on top. Let me, so I think I need three pages. I think that's right, yeah. Okay, so. So I thought this pocket gives a lot of journaling space. So, okay, so this is gonna go in here, which means when we put it on the page, it's gonna be a bit too tight. So I'm going to, for these two, I think I'll cut them down. Oh, let's make it easy and just go an inch. Let's see, let's, let's not cut off any of the, the best coffee dyeing things. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this down, these two down an inch. 
This is great for stamping and or it makes a great hinge. So there's that. Okay, now we're gonna take these and we're just gonna fold them in thirds. Like so. And then like this one, it's going to go in here. And then this one will go behind. And that's like two giant pages to, so when we put it on the page, this will tuck behind, right? Okay, so then we need to make the little papers for in there. And let's see, those are three wide. So I'm going to do two and a half strips, I think is what I'm going to do here. So two and a half, right? Or is that, is that right? Yeah, those were three. Okay, so two and a half. And I'm going to cut three of them. Oops. Okay, and then I just have that little bit left over. <clears throat> okay, and then those we're going to just fold them like make a little point easier said than done <laughs> it's getting them getting them to lay down sometimes is hard okay and then I think we'll go kind of in thirds so I'm gonna go right there and then right there and then we'll fold this over like so and then those will tuck into these little pockets like this okay so I'll just fold these up oh see and then that one just went perfect <laughs> so funny Okay, I thought I'd use this to kind of just measure so it doesn't, it's not as fiddly for me. Oh my gosh, guys, we watched quite a movie last night. Um, I don't know that it will be everyone's cup of tea, but it's based on a true story and you know, I like those. But it's not something I even remember happening. Um, it happened in 1986. It's called the Cokeville Miracle. And it happened in Wyoming. But my husband was like, why didn't we know this happened? And I said, you know, we had four babies <laughs> at that time. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I was kind of busy. I wasn't watching the news, that's for sure. So anyway, um, yeah, it's, um, it's thought provoking. Let's just put it that way. It's thought provoking. Some of it's disturbing, but it's thought provoking. So I thought I'd mention it. Um, we just came across it kind of on accident. It's on prime and, um, yeah, we just kind of came across it on accident, but was it was good I like something that that gets me thinking you know okay okay so I mean we could do a little decorating on those um, you know like my Christmas one let me just show you 
the paper was really bright and vibrant. This is avocado dyed paper that I went around the edges with gold. So that gave it something. But this, um, this journal is pretty, pretty neutral. So let's get it on the page maybe, and then maybe we can see if we wanna put anything on it as far as decoration. Isn't that fun? And then this will go tuck behind the pocket here. So, yes, I like it. I know when I when I say funny things like that, it's usually grandkid talk. <laughs> I yike it. Oh. Okay. Alrighty then, and I'm gonna put it a little more over toward the uh, spine, but not super close to it. Okay. Now I'm going to try to give that a give that a little bit of a burnish just to get that glue adhering. Usually, you know, a good good burnish in that art glitter glue grabs pretty quickly. Pretty and pretty solidly. Okay, so we'll put this in in a minute. I don't feel like I can like decorate this one and not decorate all three. I'm thinking about my, oh, okay, just a minute. Grab out my Tim Holtz pouch, and I'm wondering about these people. I was just thinking that these are about the right size. I love her. Oh, look at how cute he is. Hmm, I think I might. I, I, I mean, I think we have time. I also, there's one other thing I wanted to make, but you know, if we get it made, great. If we don't, that's okay too. I think I'm gonna grab him. We'll have to, have to do a little something behind them as well. This girl's cute too. Love Faye? I'm not sure. Love mm. Nay? I don't know. Can't tell what her name is. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just just wanted to acknowledge her as all. I like that it kind of looks like a yearbook or something. Um, and then do we want something behind them? Kind of some little, I don't know. Let's ink them and think about it. Oh gosh, the quilter ladies at my retreat. <laughs> they didn't really get the whole ink and think thing. They really, <laughs> oh, I so admire what they do though. I just, they blow me away. They are so talented and patient. Oh my gosh. You know, to sew something and then rip it out because it, you know, you didn't quite get it right or whatever. Oh my gosh. I say, I say no thank you to that pretty much. I don't know. I kind of like the simplicity and I like seeing the pattern of the paper. I think I'm just going to put them on there. Oh, I could put them on like pockets 
and then stick a little something in there like tickets or something okay I'm gonna do that and then if I don't want to stick anything in there that's okay too right it just has an opening that you could so let's do it that way oh guys it's such a great day here today um I yesterday was the day that I filmed the um video for actually and then ran it yesterday the video of my yard in the snow well we got mm, two or three more inches overnight last night and then it is bright bright sunny out today and it's eight below zero <laughs> Oh, I just love it. It's just, it's like the best kind of winter day. It's just it's bright and sunny. The sun's, you know, shining off the snow and yet it is freezing cold out there. It's like the sun has no power right now. <laughs> it is just cold. And I'm in my craft room. I mean, you know, it just doesn't get much better than that, I don't think. Um, so yeah, my 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 husband, on the other hand, was like, Oh, it's so cold and I gotta go shovel. I'm like, oh I keep telling him though, every time he says something about it, I say, you know, we could hire we could hire a service. He's like, no. It's like, but you don't like it. <laughs> he said, but I get all my steps in. Well, yeah. But you're also freezing out there, so I don't know. I'm going to clamp this because it doesn't want to stay down very badly. So it's going to get a clamp for the duration. Okay. So, there we go. And then I was thinking, so like I was thinking, let me grab this. So then I was thinking, let's see, those might be too tall. I don't know. That's too big. Okay. So I need little tickets. Look, I don't know if I maybe in here. Looks like I'm gonna have a couple of little ones in here. Oh, this one's bent, bent up. Chester City transfer. See, I was thinking like that, but I'd like some more. What's this little, this little guy? Three cents, Ohio sales tax consumer receipt. That's fun. I want them to be these vintage ones. But gosh, they're all so big. Okay, these are digital. But I could still use that. I don't know how they're all turning out green, but I'm thinking, put the green there and there, and then I could, if I come across one that's another color, oh, these came from Lorette. I have a little sticky note telling me so. Ooh, let's use one of these this is a digital two but let's do this let's fold that like that other one we could just kind of fold it like so let's stick that one in there okay I'm happy with that page. Yay. Okay. And then, oops, 
left one out. That's okay. We'll set it there. Maybe we'll use it in the next thing. Okay, so does that just... I've got this page le left. Okay, and this would fit perfectly. Okay, so speaking of Lorette, I'm talking about Lorette Chandler, my friend Lorette, and she has her... her um, YouTube is Lorette Chandler, and her Etsy is a vintage paper girl, which is within a jewel design. So Lorette made this, and I have it in my, isn't that cute? I have it in my um, idea journal. And so I was thinking about doing it on a smaller scale on this. So, I've got this piece left. So, what if we used it? I think we should. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the book. We're going to set it over aside and we're going to work on this. I'm thinking we might put this journaling card in the pocket, is my thought. Mm, and Lorette has it sewn around, which is great. I just got to move a couple things here in order to get my sewing machine. Okay. Okay. Well, this is four inches wide. So I need this to be four inches wide. And then I think in order to fold it over, I'll cut it right about there. I'm just going to put a mark because as I cut my paper, I try to keep the biggest piece. So I'll cut it here first and then cut it at four inches and I'll have this little strip. Otherwise, if I cut the four inches first, I get a big old long strip and I don't have this nice piece. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if that's helpful or not. <laughs> Possibly or not. Oh, I should use the other one because I'm gonna have a big. Lorette also gave me the idea of putting my cutters and my um, scoreboard in a basket on my floor so they're not flopping around all, all over the place. So thank you, Lorette. I did that, and it's so much better, so much better. So then we need this to be four. Okay. There's our little top piece. Oh, I didn't leave it long enough to flip up for a pocket. That's okay. I can add a pocket. That's all right. Okay. So now how, how tall is this? Yep, and it goes on that side. Okay, so this is ew, a weird, a very weird measurement. So I'm just going to make a, make a mark here. And I think I'm going to score this just so it doesn't crack or anything. So, I think I'll just get that right on the six here and go down. Yep, got it. Okay, cool. So, that goes over the top. So that's going to go over this. And we're going to need to sew this first. So I think I'll... I'm just going to make a little tiny pocket. I could probably cut that just with the scissors, but I don't trust myself <laughs> to go straight. Okay. 
How are we doing? Oh, we're good. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little thumb in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to distress it before I get it sewn down. Now, Lorette has sewn across the top of her pocket there. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go around the edges. Um, I do think what I will do is put some dots of glue on the pocket so that it stays put while I'm sewing. Let's see, that's going to be down so I don't have to ink that. Okay. All right. So I'll just put some dots of ink there. Just kind of on the corners, really. Put one in the middle just to hold that where we want it. Right there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, oops, let's get the sewing machine over here and I'm just going to sew around it. Okay. So, I think if she put a tab on hers, that would be cute. Oh, I went the full length, too, of my sack. She did not. See how there's a little space there? So, options. One has options. <laughs> lots, of way, lots of ways to do the same thing, I guess you could say. I'm just increasing the size of my stitch a little bit. And then I'm going to decrease the size of the um, zigzag. Let's see. Uh, okay. My sewing machine's so smart. It remembers. It remembers where you last had your, you know your settings unless you turn off your machine I like to do the zigzag in spots that are more um, empty you know not as decorated And I'm not worried about this side because it's going to be uh, glued down. So when I get this done, I'll show you what I'm talking about. On this side see how there's not any flowers or anything right there so I zigzagged and then there's some pattern everywhere else kind of thing this one I just wanted some in the middle but that's that's how I do it I just look like if I'm going around a journal card or something I'll just go for the areas that don't have any um, any pattern to them those are the places that I'll do the zigzag. I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it. This is how I do it. So, <laughs> can you tell I'm just so happy today to be in my craft room? She's breaking into song. Oh no, 
turn off the sound. <laughs> oh, I know. It's not great. Never has been. Okay, so let's, this needs a little glue. This little sack does right here. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to um, glue that on right there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down on the edges here because it's got that kind of cut part on the sack, okay? Okay, you are going to go right, 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 right there. Okay, so once again, we've got our base part. We've got our base, and I think I'm going to put these ladies here. And they're gonna go in there okay so we might like to do a little something down here let's see how about some maybe Tracy labels I think I might do that and I'm not gonna put a tab on it. See, there's a tab on this one. I'm not gonna put a tab there. That's why I sewed, sewed some little fancy there. I want my, one of my itty bitty little numbers. Oops. I won't find it in that bag. My numbers are in this bag. Let's see. Have I mentioned lately how much I love my bags from my merch? They are so great. They just, ooh, I love that. I'm gonna leave that out. Might use that somewhere. Um, you know, I have different sayings and different colors on each one and I am just loving them. There it is. Oh, there it is. Right here. This little guy. And I could kind of put him like that. Okay, that's a plan. I have no idea what we're going to do on the sack on the inside, but I do think I'd like to do a little something to it. I wonder if I can take just a tiny bit off the top of that number. It would be great if I could. We'll try it. Okay, put that there. Um... Where is my ruler? I got that ruler in the wrong spot. I'm still kind of trying to recover from <laughs> being at the retreat and having all my stuff packed up and getting it back kind of where it belongs. Yes. Yes, we can. I'm going to take a little bit off the side to right here. And maybe a little off the other side, too. Yay! I did it without messing up my label. Okay. Um, that a little inky edge. Okay. see. Haven't gotten my glue book out yet today. That's kind of feels weird. All right. So put this little guy on there. Just going to go right. Kind of just barely overlap that one. Okay. Happy with that. Now what to do with the sack. And we need to have a big tag in the sack. 
Okay, let's see. Lorette put some flowers and paper and stuff on hers. I'm wondering about... Um, I like this guy. Didn't get to use him the last time I wanted to. I ended up using something else. I think I might put this on as a pocket and tuck some more coffee dyed paper in there. Because I could move him over. I think that's what I'm going to do with him. Um, do I want like any book page or anything behind him. Hmm. Let's see, what do I have in my, oh, I have this, which I love this stuff. It's super um, brittle, so it's good for or maybe I just want that like that. You know what? I think I'm going to put some washi tape down there. Um, let's use this cigar one. Since I don't have a lot of... Um, I don't get a lot of opportunity to use the cigar one. Because... I don't know. Haven't done a masculine journal in a while. Okay. Gonna put this right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put you on. about here. Okay. Where's my... Okay. And this gently is going to be inked Boy, is it brittle. Eek. Eek. <laughs> be really gentle. That made me sweat a little bit. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is the one that's almost out. That's right. I grabbed the... Grab the one that's just about out of glue. Okay. Okay. Like that. Um. Oh, I'm trying to put the washi tape on as my glue lid. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, what I'm wondering... Actually, that would be pretty good. So let's do that. But let's, um, this will be fine. Let's just do this to this so that the edge has some interest. my basket. Ooh, I really like this too. Could we use it somewhere? Yep. Yes, we could. Let's do it. And then 
I think I'm going to get this on the page. I'm really happy with how much um, journaling space we're coming up with in these little things. Let's use the good glue this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we don't have anything to go in it yet. That's okay. That's okay. We'll come up with something. Okay, so where's my book? Okay. So we're on the back side. We're right here. And we're going to put this right here. And see if we put it over there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down a little bit and put it on as a pocket up here because there's this on this side. We've got the, I just think it'll be better. So, and we could put another piece of, um, coffee dyed paper or maybe we have a tag or something too I don't know I left the strings on it which is kind of fun okay so let's see what time it is okay we're getting down there but I wonder if we have time to flip through my pre-made tags real quick and see if there's a tag that can fit into the bag the bag <laughs> the bag it's a bag here in Helena Montana okay all right it's got to be Tim Holtzy and maybe I have maybe I have one already made that is Tim Holtzy like her for instance oh <gasps> I think that's going to work perfect. And here's the deal. This guy, super jealous. Not a great trait. Super jealous. And he's like hid his wife away because he's such a jealous person. That's what's happening there. And these ladies want to be her friend, but he won't let, let her go out of the house to be with. Oh, look at this. It's says friends. See, they want to be your friends, so that's going in there. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Alright. Well, do we have this done? I can't, I can't believe it if we do. I don't know. Oh, except for... Let me look. Okay. 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 We need something there. And do we want to do anything on the back? So those are the two questions. But this is now all done except for that. So let's look. Let's look in our journaling cards just for a second and see if we have a Tim Holtzy sort of something that would go in there. We've got this one. Oh, that is great. Yes. I like the pop of color. Look at there. We did that. Now, thinking about the back, I'm not sure that I want anything on there. I don't know. I mean, I think it's fine for it to just, well, it's pretty plain, isn't it? Hmm. You know what I'm wondering, and where do I have one of those?
what I'm wondering is about something like this on the back. And I mean, it fits perfectly. Okay. Got a, do I have a few more minutes? I do. I have like five minutes. So let's think about this. Now, if I have the opening there, there's a chance it will fall out, whatever. I could do just a snip off the top. I think that's what I'm gonna do and do a really tall tag for that. Okay, so now we have a little something there if we can do just a tiny thumb hole. Eesh. It's always hard when you have to put it in this way. Very tiny, but it's there. So yeah, I think I'm going to put that on there. Kind of decorate that little bit and make a big tag. So I don't know if we'll do it on camera, off camera. I haven't planned out videos at all. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm just playing with what I feel like playing with. So, but we're going to put that there and that's going to have a big tall tag in it, maybe with a big Tim Holtz person. So then we will be done with this. It's, it's fattened up, but look how it just sits. I love that. That's so, so fun. Okay, I will let you all go. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for, thanks for being my crafting buddies. We will see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye.